guys, I've got the J Concepts Tusk Tires with the hazard wheels and the three BRC anti-foams right here. These are the dual stage ones. Oh yeah, they're on here. I'm gonna show this to you on the table and get it outside and see what they got. Take a look. SV2 comes in at four pounds, 13 ounces with the battery, ready to go with these tires and wheels. The Phoenix was eight and a half pounds. So big difference. You can see they're actually sagging a little bit. I should probably do some tuning with the uh, tuning rods, but we're gonna run them just like this. Here you have like a real soft outer and it gets stiffer right here. So you got the uh, tuning rods. You can actually set those up in the outside to kind of stiffen that or in the bottom for the second stage. So absolutely completely tunable. I'm gonna run them just like you see right here in this on the rocks right now. Let's go. Let's see what we got going here. Pretty tough climb out here at the Barbarian. Let's see how these things hold and wrap. Nice. Pretty steep climb, guys. Very nice. Now here we have the other side. This side right here can really stop a truck. We'll see how everything works out here. Tires are wrapping really good. This is the spot right here that catches everybody. Looks like it's gonna catch me a little bit there. Felt like it was gonna go for just a second. There we go, there we go. Beautiful. That right there has stopped a lot of vehicles, that spot right there. Thumb. See what we got here. This was almost an impossible climb a while back. I don't have the DSM on the front, so that may affect what I do here. Got to get just up on this. Just up on it. Just like that. Over to the right. Nice. Nice climb. See what we got going here. This right here could be good. Tires are wrapping really good. Looks like I might could use a little bit of tuning on this. I don't know, they seem to be looking really good here. My back fell into that crevice over there, so I gotta get that out of the crevice. Just like that. Nice. Got this climb right here, which is always a good one. Even the fronts are compressing a little bit. Take it up. Now you gotta ride the wall at the very top here. Watch this. Watch that, watch that, watch that. Get another angle of this. And it is just stretched all out right up into that and get a better angle over here look at that nice nice climb what if i can make the turn to come up with this thing Ah, it's gonna be close, gonna be close. Let's see here. Beautiful. Awesome. The goal for this is to come around right up here, make a turn and go up across that. And it should be pretty tough to get here. Full turn, all that, so. Ah. I'm kind of in a bad situation. I was hoping to get my back end over a little bit more. I want to reposition that front end to go up. I'm in a bad way. All right, so we're going to go forward, back up a little bit, try to get everything in better position. 
Get that back. There we go. Get the back end over now. Let's see here. Get that tire to get the hook right there. Nice. <laughs> wow. All right, now we got a little bit of an undercut right here. Push right past it. Nice. And we got this climb right here, which can really eat your lunch right up at the top. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if SV2 earns dinner. These tires are wrapping really good. I don't want to add some tuners to it, but then again, they are hooking really good. Now right here, I'm going to try to go to the hard side, which is the left side of it. Let's see if uh, that tire made the peak, made the peak, good. I'm going to get over here. Wow, that was a cake. That was a cake walk. That was awesome. Guys, I got that test footage in it, the Barbarian Scale Plex, okay? So, we had a competition. I had these on here, ready to record, didn't get to it. So, that was where the test went. It was at the competition, and, uh, well, I got some video of Class 1s, and I competed with this. When I compete in the Winter Series, that's like our highest level. Um, I drive with both hands, so I'm not doing the typical one-handed driving with the uh, phone over here and the narrating. Um, these things did really good. Really happy with them. Thought I was going to have to add some tuners to them. I don't think so. And although these put the weight of the of uh, SV2 at a, at over four pounds, about was at four pounds ten ounces or, or something like that, they worked insanely good. Really good. Um, yeah. So anyway. Since I did compete Class 2 Pro, um, I'll give you the names of the top three finishers and the scores. Bo Rushing got 33.65. Uh, James Watt came in with a 27.41. That was an awesome second place. Um, really good on that. And then me, with this guy right here with these three brothers anti-foams, uh, Came in with a 1791. Um, one gate. Kind of being stupid. But yeah. Happy with that. So the first competition that I put these tough, these uh, tusk tires, the hazard wheels, Three Brothers RC foams, anti foams, I got the win. A really solid win, too. Anyway, guys, I'm excited. These things, uh, yeah, he's working on for the SCX-6 as well. And as soon as I can get my order in, as soon as I can get my hand on those, yeah, we're going to get those here. I hope he makes them strong. My truck's going to be over 35 pounds when I get it done. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, hopefully you liked the video. I uh, probably talked way too long here at the end, but it was an awesome day out there at the Barbarian, Lake City, Florida. Just awesome. Anyway, guys, check that description. I'll put links for all this down there. Um, eBay, Amazon, A-Main, they are affiliates. Horizon as well. So make sure you use those links to help support the channel. It really helps out, guys. It really does. So, guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Get you some of these Three Brothers RC anti-foams. Telling you. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.